say hello and welcome back to my channel. Say hi. My little munchkin woke up, so he's going to do my intro with me. So we decided, well I decided, that I was going to do this spring look. The gold and purple slash pinkish, bluish. There was a whole bunch of different colors. And we're just going to move that over there, okay? Yeah, you take your block? Mm. Yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more videos and that little bell beside it to get notifications on when they come up. So I think that is about it. About it. I can't speak as usual. And with further ado, we will just jump right into it. Can you say bye? Say bye. This <sighs> is So I'm starting off with MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, and I'm using the Makeup Forever 228 Spray Brush. I'm just going to prime my eyes with this to color up any discoloration and to make sure that my eyeshadows last a long time, especially since they are so bright and vivid, you want to make sure that they're going to last all day long. Don't mind the door opening, it is just my son. I'm going in with that peach color. Skin tone color, sorry, I'm using the Morphe 35B palette and the brush that I'm using is the Sigma E35 brush. I'm using that really bright magenta pink color and I'm starting off at the outer corner and then I'm going to work in to the inner corner with barely any product on my brush and I'm going to get it to my desired preference. You can do it however you want it, as bright as how you want it or as light as you want it. I wanted it to be more pigmented so I really kind of keep going back in with those eyeshadows. I'll do one eye, then do the other one, then go in with the other eye and make sure that it, it is darker well, brighter. Not really darker, but brighter. Again, windshield wiper motions, making sure that it is really well blended. You don't want any harsh lines. You want to make sure that everything looks as seamless as possible. Going in with that like orangey, I can't even describe that color, it's like an orangey peachish pinkish color. Again, I'm doing the exact same method. I do find that this color reminds me, resembles, was the word I was looking for, resembles Mango Tango by Makeup Geek. They're very similar in color. And again, outer corner, taking less product into the inner corner, but making sure that I'm going back and forth in windshield wiper motions to make sure that it is very well blended using that really bright pink magenta color. I keep wanting to say magenta because it does remind me a lot of it. Doing again the exact same thing. I decided that I wanted to do a halo makeup look and I grabbed the Sephora 17 Precision Crease Brush and I wanted to work that into my inner corner and really make sure that it went from inner corner to outer corner so most of the pigment is on the inner corner of your eye and the outer corner and kind of like a halo effect. That is what a halo is, that it goes like around it so that your lid color is just this tiny little ball in the center of your eye color of a ball inside your eye. I, I hope that you get me. <laughs> it makes sense. This brush, I do have to say though, honestly, really irritated my eyes for about a day and a half afterwards. They were very red and swollen. It is, I think, a synthetic hair brush and it's rough. Going in with the blue color from the same palette, I think I used the 35B palette from Morphe the whole entire time. I'm using that bluish color, and then I used the darker blue underneath it afterwards to really darken it up. It doesn't of course look blue, it gets more of like a purple look, but 
I want to do something different and fun. Using a cotton pad and just some makeup remover, I'm just going to wipe out any fallout. Kind of also clean it up and make it look more of like a winged halo effect. I find that's a super easy way to do it and you can get as messy as you want with it. Going in with that sunshine yellow color and my MAC 242 brush, I'm just going to push that onto the lid. I do take it a little further than the center, but then I go back in with my 17 crease brush and just darken everything up again, make the colors more pigmented and bright. I'm taking that really shimmery color and spraying it with some of my setting spray just to give it more of a metallic foiled look. I'm pushing that on just the center of my lid. And like I said, going back in with those two dark bluish colors, I'm just going to go back in and make everything more potent and cleaned up. Go back, blend everything, make sure that everything is as blended as possible and as seamless as possible. I get that it's a long process, but when you're using colors this bright and vibrant, you really want to make sure, well, to my liking, you can do whatever you want, but I wanted to make sure to my liking that it was as bright as I could possibly get it, and it really stood out. Using the Master Prime Blur and Illuminating Primer by Maybelline, I'm just going to put that all over my face and push it into my skin. Going in with the Revlon 24 Hour Whipped Foundation in 220 Nude, I'm just going to be taking the Makeup Forever 106 Straight Brush and kind of like painting it on my face. I do go in with my Sephora Foundation Brush afterwards to push it in. This foundation is absolutely amazing. I cannot stress to you guys at what a great price it is because it's drugstore and it actually looks better the longer you wear it. It is phenomenal. This is my go-to foundation. I prefer it over high brand or high name brand makeup you know what I mean but I prefer it and it's like 10 bucks 10.99 sometimes it's 20 bucks depending on like a shopper's drug mart using the Maybelline fit me foundation stick in toffee which is 335 I believe I don't have it on me right now I'm using this to contour my face Using the Real Techniques Stippling Brush, I'm just going to blend it all out. You guys have seen this before, you know how it works, it's nothing new, I'm going to speed right through it. Using the Cover FX, it Cover FX Enhancer Drops in Sunkiss, I'm just going to use this to double up on the bronzer on my face. This stuff is beautiful. Like I said in my other video, this is my go-to bronzing my face. I will be using it all summer. It is on the pricey side, but my goodness, it is just a gorgeous product. I am in love with this product. Using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Light, I am just going to highlight my face under the eyes, the forehead. You just want to make sure that you balance out everything to your skin tone, to your bronzer. It just completes the look and brings everything together.
Going in with my Sigma F86 tapered kabuki brush, I'm just going to push in the concealer. I do prefer a beauty blender, I just don't have one on me at the moment, and this is good for also soaking up the excess products so that you don't have cakey face or that it settles into your fine line and wrinkles. I notice that when you take the brush and you go from left to right to right to left and keep going like that, it also helps because it doesn't settle in your fine lines and your wrinkles. Going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula and the Real Techniques Multitasking Brush, I'm just going to use that to set the liquid bronzer that was on my face. I know that there's a lot of steps in just the bronzer process, period, but this is the steps that I like to take and what I find looks absolutely gorgeous on my skin. You don't have to do it, this is just what I like to do. Using the Cover FX Enhancer Drops in Sunlight, I like to do this first, and it really does give your skin a beautiful glow. And I'm just using the Sephora Foundation Brush just to kind of push it in and really separate it. You do have to work fast with this stuff, like I've said in my other videos. If it dries, you kind of have like streaks and it stays put. I do find that using that foundation brush, though, really does help and gets it just really well in there if it mixes with the foundation it does work a lot better than a beauty blender I'm using the Makeup Forever 218 Wavy Dome Brush, and I'm just going to put the pink colors underneath my eyes and blend it really, really well. I'm then going to use my Sigma E15 Flat Definer Brush, and I'm going to push in the purple-blue colors that were um, in the palette underneath my eye to really get that like harsh, deeper line, and then just go in again with the dome brush and just really make sure that it's blended out. I'm going to be using my Luxie 501 brush and I'm using those two pinky purpley blush colors and mixing them together. One has more of a purple tone to it, the other one's like a baby doll pink color. Using my Revlon Lash Curler, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and put a quick coat of the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara on my lashes. I'm just going to pop on some Ardell Double Up Lashes on my eyelashes, and then I'm going to, of course, you know the drill, Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek as my brow highlight and my inner corner highlight. I think the world will come to an end when I actually use something else than that eyeshadow for my two highlights. The brush that I used for my brow was the 106 straight brush and the one for my inner corner was the E36 Morphe brush. I'm going in with a bombshell lipstick in Famous and then I'll be using the Revlon lip gloss in Kiss Me Coral. I'm just going to coat my under eye lashes and make sure that it looks like I have some. And then I'm sorry for not showing you the highlight, but of course I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle. And then I actually decided to go in with the Becca Jaclyn Hill Prosecco Pop, just to give it more of a golden look to it. And I'm just going to spray my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and fan off my face. And that is the look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I don't know what I'm gonna call it but yeah so I think that is about it I hope you hold